this thing work? Is it, is it on? How do I, how do I do this? Hey, all you gamer gremlins, you can call me ATN and welcome to the stage duty stream. Today is break the game Thursday. When I break a game with you for an hour or two or until the coffee runs out. We are back after a short-lived hiatus and a much needed rest and recuperation. We are back on the air, on the Twitches, on the YouTubes, on all the other places. I hope you missed me, but we're back and we're back to continue to tear apart our poor defenseless game. Elder Scrolls 3 Morrowind. And hopefully you guys will like the new changes I have in store for tonight. It's uh, a lot, a lot uh, to take in. And I'm uh, I'm borrowing from uh, from another YouTube alum. Um, I'll explain more in a moment. But, but first... Uh, don't forget to follow and subscribe to be notified the next time I upload and stream. You can find me at twitch.tv slash stage duty streamer. I stream on Sundays at 3 p.m. and on Thursdays at 8 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. You can find me on Discord at Stage Duty Discussion. You can find me on YouTube at Stage Duty Vids. And lastly, you can find me on Twitter at Stage Duty Tweet for all your social media correspondence goodness. All links should be on all pages. Let me know what you think. And thanks for coming along for the ride, folks. I really do appreciate it. Okay. With that. So just before I left, I discovered another YouTuber's mod list for Morrowind using uh, uh, micro, uh, Morrowind Script Extender. And using mod organizer for your mod organizer. And uh, I downloaded all of it and got it going. And oh boy, it's different. So let me let me just uh, let me show you some stuff here. Let's uh, let's do this. Let's do that and then that. Okay, why is this not working now? Oh my goodness, that's why. Because I'm dumb. Okay, hold on a second here. Now it'll work. There we go. Okay, so what I did is behold the uh, YouTube site of Gamer Poets. Uh, Michael of Gamer Poets, I've been watching this guy for years. He makes excellent tutorial videos. Uh, succinct to the point. Uh, if you need to learn something about modding Bethesda games, this 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 guy will this guy will get you through it. Um, he also has a website. He calls it Modding My Way or Modding His Way, I guess. And uh, let me back space here a little bit. And he, uh, I really got to build a page like this one of these days follow suit but uh and not and not do it his way but do it my way um he has <laughs> and while it's not welcome nice uh he has a morrowind build and his morrowind build is um extensive and he also provides little notes and little special instructions and uh patches and he, there's a lot of information here and I hope I went through it and did it justice and installed everything just like he's got it here there were some things that uh, I agree with there's some things I don't agree with some things once I got in game I didn't like I some things I think from the old playthrough I want to reincorporate into this one so it won't be a hundred percent his way even though I did make a my way base. This is exactly his build, right? Three hundred and sixty-six 
individual mods, uh, 174 plugins. Uh, this is this is a lot more <clears throat> than what we were playing with previously. But ATN's tweak is going to be a little bit different. And uh, there's already been a couple of things I have changed. I, I don't even know where to begin. I, I love this. I love this loadout, though. This is a great loadout. I mean, when I say I'm I'm making some small changes here and there, I'm I'm not I'm not trying to, um, I'm not trying to put anything down. It's an amazing loadout. Go check out Michael's site. Go check out his uh, his uh, um, mod lists. They they are they're really good. They're really really good. And and also there was a couple of mods I already had that was on his list. So I wasn't it wasn't a complete redo, but there's also a bunch of mods that I had that wasn't on his list. So we'll see. And there are things I might see if we can reincorporate. Um, also, I I updated the uh, uh, the Morrowind graphics extender, so I'm using the twelve point two zero point twelve point two. But for whatever reason, uh, where the heck is it? Um, the shader. Uh, I can't get the shaders to work anymore. The the those really cool shaders that made the coastal coastal waters look really cool. I I don't know what happened. So that's gone. Ever ever since I uploaded uh or, or upgraded the uh, uh Morrowind graphics extender, the the shader shader packages don't work. So we're gonna have to work on that because I really want that part back. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm a little froggy in my throat today. I think uh, it's probably best to just jump in game and for me to show you around and show you the improvements and also show the things that are not so good too because um, we got some work ahead of us. I want to make this work. And uh, I know I've been saying for weeks, oh, we're so close to getting it fixed and working. We're not now. We're so not. There's... I mean, there might be some things I installed wrong. There might be some things that are incompatible with themselves, but a lot of other things really improved greatly. And uh, let's let's just let's just jump in game and like show this off. Uh, thank you, Michael from Gamer Poets. I appreciate your your hard work and uh, releasing that to the public for idiots like me who aren't familiar enough with Morrowind. So uh, let, let's let's just jump right in. <clears throat> All right, so we'll say yes to all. We got the new load screens, the more sketchy looking ones. I kind of dig it, but wait till you see the next thing here. Oh, it's like a, it's got a load. Check this out. I like that the the background for the uh, control panel page. That's kind of cool. Um, oh, and also look at this. Mod configuration, so the MSM. Look at all the mods. Look at all the choices. I got to get in these and see what each one of these do because I really, I'm not 100% sure what all these do. Um, You know, maybe we'll just, I'll take like five and do some research on them. And for future Break the Game Thursdays, we'll just go in and figure out what stuff does. But, uh, oh my goodness. Stuff. Um... Let's uh let's load our previous save I made. I took the liberty of making a tester guy. And we'll just take him right from Sadanine. And we'll run around all there's a couple of things in Sadanine I think are really good. And there's a couple of things that are kind of broken in Sadanine. So we'll go over that here in just a second. But uh Man, I really want to get a Morrowind one playthrough going. I really, really do, but uh, I, I don't want this to be broken. All right, so first off, we got uh, our tester guy. The f Okay, so here's the trick. The package, the pre-package of the hair and face uh, mods, I was using the same, I was using a different one, but it was made for, by the same mod author, but... This mod author, this I guess the one that uh, the, the one that Michael was using is I guess newer. 
from a different mod author that pre took the the original mod author stuff and packaged it up. Um, <clears throat> a lot of the faces and hairs that I had previously are gone now. And I don't know if I can add them back in addition to, which would be really cool. Or if it's just I can choose this or that. I'm not sure how that's going to work. We'll we'll get back to that. That's something we gotta we gotta work on later. Yeah, you know, things are different, but they're not necessarily bad. So I don't know. Let's uh Why walk when you can ride. There you go. And we got all this stuff. Now uh let's let's go down to the water. Uh, first off uh the, the the greens are greener, the the the, the ick in the the ick in the swamp is ickier. I mean, there's some really good uh, textures that are in here. This is uh, Ramirez's uh, grass mod, which it's it's mostly good. I've only caught a couple of spots where I find floaty grass, but I'm not sure if if that's uh, the grass mod's fault or if it's my fault for not installing things correctly. Signs that you can read. Oh, my God. That is really nice. Oh, Greg, welcome to the stream. How are you, sir? We are figuring out how to do Morrowind. And I don't know how much of the intro you heard, but this is a completely different loadout. Uh, doing well, doing well. Uh, we had a, a very, very useful couple of days off and uh had a good time and uh learned a lot so i'm uh, i'm very happy with how that all what turned out about? but uh but we've got <clears throat> we've got all sorts of new mods i mean hundreds of new mods in this see i lost the the shader we don't have that cool transition from water to land I missed ah, I'm sad if I can't have that that's gonna make me sad and also the lighthouse is kind of jacked if you go up here yeah, let me do this go up here and then we go down and then we can't really get to the door I don't know I gotta fix that I, ho I ho hope I can and also there's like a puddle of water here but not really a puddle of water <clears throat> I wonder if it, something needs to be patched and I missed something or something's in the wrong order or I've got two mods that do the same thing going at the same time. I'm not 100% sure. And did I get it already? I don't know. Did I? I might have already gotten it and sold it. You can get the axe out of the stump, which I'm very happy about. I think the last go around, the axe was missing. This guy's a mod. Do you see an audience? This little, Me. this little uh, boat and the uh, boat across the way. This is whole a whole nother adventure mod here, quest mod. <clears throat> Something to explore later. I'm very happy about that. So I don't know. I mean, it's different. I I kind of like it. There's a couple of things I'd like to fix. I guess. Oh, yeah. Oh, here's another th cool thing. All right, check this out. So we'll walk up on just somebody, right? And uh, just as Dark Elf, I think or Fargoth I already yes, met. Outlander. Yeah, look at Fargoth this now. This is a wondrous encounter. Welcome. Fargoth looks completely different. But okay, <clears throat> so she's Dark Elf, right? So then you talk to her, and you say, "Hey, give me your background." Then she tells you her name. Say goodbye. And now the little box says her name. So before they were a stranger, but then you talk to them. Like this guy says Imperial, right? Don't do quit walking away from me. Hey, quit walking away. And you click on background. And then he tells you what his name is. So forevermore, you know what his name is. I think that's kind of cool. There's tons of little features like that. In this loadout. I suppose I could spare and I, and I think it's pretty cool. But, uh... Well, let's look around a little more. Um... Maybe I'll, uh... I'll go god mode and we'll go into some caverns and stuff. There's mods for everything. 
I think what I might do, like I was saying earlier, I might just like pick five mods and then and showcase them and find the place in the game where you see them, you know, and uh, well, then there's this guy. Just, I just really missed that water transition. That water transition transition was awesome. But, uh, sacrifices must be made sometimes. So we'll see. All right, now check out check out the new interface. It's kind of cool. Um, you can if you have a whole bunch of spells, you can search by, um, search search by uh, magic school. That's kind of cool. Or if you just want to go by the name, you can you can type a name in here. Same thing with the... Uh, I, I'm sorry. I'm just geeking out a little bit here. But, I mean, I like the new everything here. This is kind of neat. Uh, local. And there's there's Sadanine. Oh, did it put... It put little... Little individual small things... So small markers on the uh, the buildings of significance. So, all right. So let me. Uh, uh, I might be the only one that cares about those kind of things, but uh, let's continue. So what I want to do the the usual, um, go to. Uh, Pelagiad, and then uh, go to... Oh, we got a rat. Oh, boy. We got a rat. Is the rat going to kill me? Probably. Hello, Mr. Rat. Stabby! Stabby. Oh, okay, got him. All right, moving right along. There's Pelagiad up on the hill, and we still got the... Oh, now it's going to rain. We got some weather. Oh boy, we got some weather. We gotta get a cloak. When we get to uh, Balmora, I'll get a cloak. And we still got the uh, collect uh, alchemy ingredients uh, mod going. That seems to be working pretty good. Uh, come on, hurry up. Go to Pelagiad. Now, I don't have the beautiful cities of Morrowind installed currently. So, it's on the, uh, the original loadout, he didn't have it. But, I want to see if maybe we can use that. I don't know, it might break everything. Because a lot of the patches are set up specifically for not using that. So, it's... Uh, I don't know. I'll have to see. May the wind be on your back. Ah. Go in here and see. Now it's back to a little more vanilla looking. There's the, uh, the gallows. We don't have the park over here anymore. But all in all, looks pretty good. There's no floaty grass all in here like it was the other time. So the banners. We got some, I think there's a banner mod that in, improves the uh, banners that are in the castles. Um, let's go in our favorite bar. Boink! Alright. Now. That creepy chick still got a bug on her shirt. Alright, I'm listening. Yeah, whatever. I don't want to talk to you. But uh, we got all the the plates and oh yeah, and I've got it tricked out that if you if you hover over something that uh, if you take it it'll be stolen. The little crosshairs turn red as opposed to let me find something. Is there something here that I can? Uh, I guess nothing. Everything is everything is stealable. But. Uh, but I remember there there used to be I think it was beautiful cities of Morrow and there used to be a big a big dishes case china cabinet here and stuff so we're kind of missing some some of the cooler stuff and there was all these god rays coming through the windows too 
So I kind of missed that. But we have it. Yes. We have drips. Do you see the, the do you see the leaky uh spigot dripping into the the bucket there? That's a mod all into itself. Yeah, I know. I'm No one cares about that but me, but I dig it. It's that little bit of a uh, little bit of extra that makes it more immersive, I think. Um, all right, so hopefully it's not still raining out. And okay. <clears throat> that's not so bad. All right, so on to Port Moonmoth. And we're getting torches lit. See. Man, I want to start a playthrough. But this is really starting to look good. Again, there's a couple of spots that I've got to do some work on. This is really starting to look good. Now, if you notice in the bottom right-hand corner, just above the little mini-map down there, that's too small to be useful, there's a clock. That is the in-game time. Notice the minutes are kind of going by pretty fast. <clears throat> I thought that was a, a nice touch. It'd be nice to know what time it is in game. So instead of just guessing, uh, I'm going down the road here, piece. Uh, so, so what did I miss while I was gone? What were you guys doing while I was gone? Did I leave enough stuff on on the YouTube for you? Or was it uh, kind of lean? Hoping I could ration a couple of weeks worth of uh, vids for you. So there was at least something. <clears throat> Let's take a look at the lake. A lake. We got some seriously glowy stuff there. Mud crabs. There's a, I got a mod for the mud crabs. Look at the mud crabs now. We got like moss and lichen on. Is this guy attacking me? Are you? Are you attacking me? Mud. <coughs> what do you got? A, a really close look at the mud crab shell now. Look at all the little the seashells and the grass is growing on it. That's cool. All right. <clears throat> All right. Moving down the line here. I've got to get out of this biome and into some other biomes. So we can see what the rest of everything else looks like. And then maybe we'll go check on the... Uh, the expansion areas, the um, getting into Skyrim, getting into that, the, the couple of, I, I, I got more than one island we can visit now, actually. Um, and is that, oh, I hate these guys. Oh, wait. All right. another one. Oh, for pity's sake. Go away. Little wormy thing. There we go. Alright, much better. <coughs> My apologies, I'm a little froggy tonight. Uh-oh. And there's more... I, I really like the, the road signs you can read. I think that's a whole lot better. Quality of life kind of a thing. All right, so here, here we go. Port Moon Moth. So there's a couple of things messed up with Port Moon Moth. Okay, so the grass mod looks pretty good from out here. The grass mod is got grass and the stones where it's supposed to be. But... <coughs> 
when you go inside here, things get a little weird. The ground is, well, looks like someone buried. I mean, this whole, you, you got the Red Guard uh, if I ever Smith. See that elf, he's in so much trouble. Oh, boy. It, it, everything's all buried in the dirt. So I don't know if people were just dumping their dirt in here. And then, like, the doors are kind of buried. Yeah. And then there's not enough dirt to get up to the steps. So you, to get in there, that poor guy's stuck. And then the, 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 the combat dummies are buried underneath every... I don't know. This, this part got weird here. You know, there's supposed to be a staircase going up to get up here. And now it's just, you know, I don't know. So like I said, I got to look at some stuff to see where I where I messed up there. But uh, otherwise, not bad. I mean, otherwise, I, I kind of like it. Just got to get that floor to be where it's supposed to be. But uh, all in all. Not bad. Let's go. Okay, let's go kill my frame rate in uh, Balmora here. Now, this is a. This will be an example of something that I removed. As we go down here, if we were using the purest uh, 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 Michael's uh, My Way loadout, there would be a structure on the left. It looks like a a place where you would. Uh, you know, buy and sell goods along the river. It's a big tent, big structure. It's a couple of NPCs. It'd be all just right here. But uh, one, it felt a little out of place being at Balmora's right there. And two, I'll show you once we get inside of Balmora. It uh, it didn't. It wasn't compatible with Balmora. And and my, Michael even mentioned that he was waiting for a compatibility patch. There was a spot where the 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 landmass. Uh, didn't fit almost to like almost up to your knees it didn't fit so I uh, decided not to use it Do I care? and uh, there's a couple of things in here that are a little weird uh, so I mean this isn't so bad but I think I don't think the well is supposed to be here at the same time these folks are so again maybe I've got some. I've got multiple mods going at the same time that they're just piling everything on in the same spot. I'm not sure what's going on there. Um, and we've got some floaty grass. If we go up the back alley here, there is some. There's yeah, some floaty stones and floaty grass. So yeah, I'm not sure. Now this is part where I was shaking my head on because not only is the fountain here. But also, this tree. And it feels kind of weird that they're both here. So again, that might be something I installed wrong. We're going to have to uh, dig into that. That'll be another thing I got to fix. Um, wealth beyond measure. Wealth beyond measure, yes, yes. Okay, frame rates are plummeting. But everything's all lit up. Everything looks good. I do miss the big eye above the Mages Guild up here. That was a nice touch for beautiful cities of Morrowind. Again, if I can do figure I out a way to incorporate you. that, I would prefer to. But uh, that's going to be a lot of trial and error and experimentation, I would think, to figure out how to get that to work with this. Now, the spot that was goofified, I mean, it's fixed now, but I can at least walk over to the spot. If you ever use that mod that I removed, which I don't remember the name of, which would probably be better if I remember the name of it. Uh, it was like right here. It wasn't a nice smooth... Oh, see where the grass is? It, it was up there, and then it abruptly stopped. So there was like a gap like up to my waist that you can see like, you know underneath the world so to speak so yeah there's a little bit of grass problem there yeah i don't know i gotta i gotta see i gotta figure it out 
it's not horrible, but uh, I'm not discounting that I installed something wrong. Maybe, or maybe I missed a patch, or I installed it in the wrong order, or I've noticed that if you have multiple patches in at the same time, they all apply at the same time, so maybe that's got something to do with it. I don't know. But, uh... Alright, so let's take in the local inn. Can we Outlander. See here? Outlander, yes. Alright. So what is this? The South Wall Corner Club. And I like the little little bugs floating around the lanterns. I think that's a neat <clears throat> I think that's a neat little uh touch there. Alright, let's go first person. Have a look around. I'm sure you'll like what you see. All right, I'm listening. Gotcha. First we greet, then we do business. We do business. Who are you? Oh. Now, I've learned the hard way. This guy with his bicycle shorts. Sugar. So clumsy. If you All my touch any of these musical instruments, the drums or the or the little banjo or the lute there, everybody in the bar proceeds to kill you. And they kill you dead. Apparently, they don't mind the book. So I'm going to take the book. You don't care about the book, right? All right. So where'd the book go? Where'd the book go? I just took it. The book. Can I, like... Dump it on me. Oh, oh. The Balladeer's Fake Book. Uh, this really contains lyrics of any possible Western drinking songs. Ooh, neat. So basically, it's a book of bar songs. That's kind of cool. Now, I added a mod. I think we played with this last time, but this was also in uh, uh, Gamer Good Poets you, playthrough uh, loadout. To you? Let's see. We want to. Are you gonna let me sing? Tailoring. Where is it? Some silt strider trade. Latest rumors. Clothing. Oh yeah, I should probably tell him about claws. Okay. Now we know where he is. Um, background. I don't see. And that's the owner. Okay, let's go talk to the owner. I don't think I want to talk to this guy. All right. Owner, owner, instead of being behind the bar, is all the way heck upstairs. What is this about? Doesn't make much sense. That he would just hang out up here. Okay. Go ahead. You! First, tell me about your background. Beds, clothing... Oh, come on, where is it? Entertain the patrons. Here we go. I'm going to... Let's see. Tell some jokes. Dance the handy high kick. I can't do that. I don't have a drum. I don't, I don't have a lute. Uh, you have to have three small kawama eggs in your inventory. Otherwise, you just pantomime that you're juggling. Same thing with the large eggs. Same thing with the ceramic bowls. Um... I guess I'll tell a few jokes. And let's see. Hey, they like me. Who knew? And I made a little money, and I improved my yeah. uh, standing. So but there's a spot remember. that mod puts you after you do your performance. If I could just gr grab some of these instruments without getting murdered, I could do more. But uh, I get, we'll we'll, uh, we'll hold off on that for now. What may I do for you? Uh, go all ahead. right. I'm listening. Let's see. Where else can we go? What else can we go? Uh, let's see what the Mages Guild looks like. I haven't been in there in ages. Let's see. Go over here. There's also some retextures for the armor, Wealth beyond for the uh, the bone mold armor. I think that, that's uh, it's kind of that desert 
crackle kind of look, but it, I think it's a, a, a pretty pretty good improvement over the original texture. Back alleyways. There's that Nord girl that walks around. Uh, there's that orc fella. Alright. Let's see what the Mage's Guild looks like. Well, hello. Go ahead. Well, you got you got tapestries. I don't remember the tapestries. You got plenty of tapestries. Look at all the tapestries. Oh my goodness! All merges. Magic look... is my speciality. How can I help you? All merges look creepy. What about the nice orc lady? Strength is a virtue, friend. Yeah. I cannot think with these interruptions. Um. Okay, leave you alone. Wow, she's cranky. Okay. And I cannot sleep because I'm not a member of the guild. At your service, Outlander. Oh. And then the tricksy kitty. It All needs right. potions. Potions. What is this? What is that supposed to be? Just like, I mean, it's a teleporter pad. Teleport here, you land here, maybe? I don't know. I don't know. But interesting. Looking for something Whoa. in particular? Books. Books, 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 books. Well, I guess you don't know the contents of the bottles or the names of the books until you pick them up and read them. Looking That's for interesting. something in particular? Let's go take a look at the Fighter's Guild. I'm curious what that looks like. Oh, wait, we can go upstairs. Didn't know go upstairs. Oh, there's this lady. All right, I'm listening. Uh, I'll steal your stuff later. Okay. Oh, Alpha Galmora. All right, and blue light special. All right. Let's go over to the Fighter's Guild. Oh, geez, the tapestries. All right, so where do we come from? All right. What's your story? No one's really talking to me. Oh, the tapestries. I'm here for the tapestries. You cannot keep me from the tapestries. For I shall gaze upon them. Where is the... Here we go. Okay, here's the practice room. Let's say, there's always a practice room. Oh, jeez. Go like ahead. That. Uh, I'm not going that way. Why is the cursor blue now? How can I help you? Hmm, interesting. Bottle. All right. Interesting fighter's guild. Okay. And one other thing I want to do is this guy sells you sell me things i need my cloak is it this one I never remember i think it's this one yoink aha offer made the crunchy noise that's how you know it's good okay power and profit to you and there we go let's uh i think this one's a little too purple there's a different one i think i want to use but you know whatever we can we can use this one for now okay so balmora i mean not bad there's a couple of things that are broken, yeah. And we gotta fix it. But overall, I mean, I like the look. I like the trees. I like the plants. I like the overall look of things. Heck, even the silk strider looks good. Who saw that coming? Speaking of the silk strider, maybe we should go somewhere. Okay. 
So if we go back to Sedanin, from there, I think I can get to old Evanhart. Or Evanhart. Let's see. All right. Where would you like to go? Special trip just for me? All right. Let's see. Ah! Check this out. So when you hover over the link that will take you to the travel options, it gives you a map showing you what Silt Strider will take you to what place. I think that's pretty neat. So, oh, not only, okay, so, uh, so not only Silt Striders, but ships and guild, guild guides. I don't know what that is. I know there's teleporters, teleportations when you get into the, um, wow, okay. So let's uh, let's look at the travel, and let's oh stop it. Okay, so there's the map of Vivek, and then we go up one. That's the map around Ebenhart, and then we go up a little more. I think that's Sedanin. Go up a little more. Ald Rune. Hopefully, I'm saying that right. That's kind of cool. All right. Um. Vivec. Where can I get to Ebonheart from where Vivec's gonna drop me off? Let's see. Alright, let's check on to Vivec. If worst case scenario we, we we take a jog around. I think I'll be fine. Alright, to Vivec. Vivec City the next morning. Wow, you're rough to look at. Dark up, buddy. Okay. So if I remember correctly, looking at the map, wow, that is, that is pretty cool looking. Uh, let's see if we can figure out a way to get to, uh, old Ebonheart without getting killed. Uh, I think it's this way. Oh, and this fella. Got it. Coordinator on, a, on the back of a guar. I used to be worried about these critters. I guess they're pretty docile. But God, look at the teeth on them. Oh. I think we go for a little bit of a swim. Don't mind the slaughterfish. Swim! Swim faster. Ooh, athletics. Look at that. And then... Is Ebonheart over here? Somewhere? Maybe? I think it is. Let's not get wet again. Yoink. I think Ebonheart's over here. Oh, I might have needed to be... Oh, God. No, that's another... Oh, look at all. The, oh, my goodness. So many mud crabs. Oh, and there's a rat waiting for me. They can swim, too, I bet, huh? Go away. Where's the rat? Where's the rat? Did the rat find me? I don't think the rat found me. Okay. Oh, patrols, help me. Are you going to kill the thing that's obviously trying to kill, come and get me? Let's see. Let's see if the guar will eat the rat. If the rat's even chasing me. Or, oh, dude, don't. Dude's bailing on me. It's like, nope, I don't do a rat. You're on your own, kid. There's Evan Hart. Okay. Oh, we got to get close to the uh, the Ministry of Truth up there, the little floaty rock. Because the, the little smaller rocks don't just hover in space with it. They actually uh, orbit, or maybe it always did and I just never noticed. Let's see if we can get close enough for it to load. I think that's pretty cool. We went and I went to the... Uh, Into the Vex City. Can we get close enough? I don't think we can get close enough. Oh, we might have to go over there. Oh, 
Hold on a sec. Can I get close enough? Ah, we might have to go over there. There, there's little smaller boulders orbiting around Uncle, Uncle Shio's uh, attempt to play catch. Oh, and the frame rates are about to die. All right, so let's go in here. Well, with all the mods that I installed, it did nothing to this purple humunculus here. Oh, maybe it did. Does it, does it still have lipstick? Uh, Let's see what You've all this got my ear. Let's oh, hear it. Let's... Yeah. Oh my goodness. What do you look like? What is this about, Cyrodiil? What is this about? Let's take a look at all these guys here. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That guy's here. I wonder if that bug that you reload from this guy being here that he disappears. Ah, welcome. Welcome. Yeah, I do. Welcome to Fantasy Island. All right. Uh, let's see where this guy sends me. All right. So travel. Old Evanhart Docks. Sydney. Ah, so there's... I know this 10 place. Yeah. That mod doesn't know about it because it's... Uh, um, it's a different mod. So let's, let's do this. Let's go to Old Evanhart. And uh, looks like we're all gonna get soaked. Yeah. All right. I got a feeling I'm gonna. Do I still have my take away the distant lands? Oh, I do. Distant lands disabled. That will give me ten. That will give me a couple of a couple of frames. Ah, everyone looks. That guy still got old. Greetings. He still got vanilla face. I don't know why that one guy, everyone else has, has got a good one. That one guy's got vanilla face. I'm just curious. Hmm. I've never been in here before. Ooh, the back alleys. That looks great. What is this? I'm glad you're wearing a top. Uh, thank you for that. Uh, I'm surprised how many Nords don't. I don't know if I like this. It's raining. Uh, okay. Ooh, a bulletin board? Ebonheart Bedlam. A note. I don't think that was there before. That'll be kind of interesting. Moth and the tiger. A bar? Let's see. Yes! He's... That guy's got... He's, he's got... Go ahead. Vanilla face, but, but <laughs> modded hair. That's kind of weird looking. All right. Let me see. The rest of these people look like... Oh. Ooh. A visitor. What may I do for you? The Ebonheart Bedlam. Interesting. All right, I'm listening. Oh. God, guy's killing me. All right. Oh, back out in the rain. Why is it always raining on me? All right, let's get... Uh, this guy's got... Looks. I think he's got vanilla face, but it's not bad vanilla. Oh, he's got no neck. He's got floaty head. I must be going, so if you can oh, make it. Oh, goodness. Quick. He's got rodent teeth, too. All right. I'm just going to leave him alone. We're going to leave him alone. Oh. We're going to leave him alone. And we're just going to chuck around here. Now, see? I got old signs here. So I guess we're in the old country. We're in the mainland. Now, I think... I got a mod that is improving the banners and the shields and maybe that statue up there. 
That's kind of interesting. Let's see if I can put the uh, distant lands back on. And wow, that came back up a whole lot quicker. <laughs> Bloody, welcome to the stream. Give him no neck. If only I knew how to give him a proper... A Betty neck. Hmm, interesting. Uh, if only I knew how to uh, restore his neck, I'd happily do it. Or at least give him a high-collar shirt to wear so he, it wasn't as noticeable. But yeah, he... He, he, wor he worked his uh, he worked his neck to the nub. Oh, I never put my cloak on. Maybe I do that because it's raining. Wait a minute, I did put the cloak on. Oh crap! Yeah, now watch. He's gonna like randomly take the cloak off. I think I noticed that last time too. I don't understand why, but he'll randomly take the cloak off. And now that I say that, he won't. Oh, we'll see. Well, I mean, I like the colors. Oh, and there's the critter, the belt. The crazy anteater thing. Glad it's docile. Jeez. Oh, it's a little ant critter. And scrib. But yeah, I mean... The, the the grass works well with the the road and the the not road. I kind of like this. So what I'm hoping is I've noticed that the with the old playthrough, you would find pockets of like some serious floaty grass out here in the in the mainland part in the. Uh, So I'm hoping this fixed that. And and actually now that I think about it, um I don't think Michael wanted to install uh the, Oh yeah, that's a little weird. The fire effect needs to be a little smaller here. Interesting. So I guess there's a fire mod that needs a patch for out here. Alright, well, I mean, this looks... This looks cool. I don't see any problem with this out here. Um, see if we can COC somewhere. I'm gonna... Uh, where should we go? COC... Um... Get to Evan Hart? Is that a thing? Oh, it's a thing. All right, we made it. And I'm in the ground. That is awesome. Okay, can I jump up? Ah, welcome. Can what I jump may up? I, do for you? I, I can jump up. Whee. All right. So where else can we go? Um. What was that? Let's try this guy. Ooh, there. Tell me your background. Shipmaster and steward. All right. Travel. And Skirk Island. Do I have enough money? I do. Okay. All right. So this is that uh, uh, imperial controlled island off the coast. If I can figure out how to get off the boat. There we go. So let's see how these guys fared. Oh, they got the Go shakes ahead. and they got the clippage. Oh boy. All right. Well, this is the, the land of the Starbucks. Everyone's got the shakes here. Yeah, this guy's too much caffeine shakies. And the hair does not fit the head, but that's vanilla hair. No, no, that's. Greetings. Vanilla face, but I 
couldn't tell you. Clothes look different. Why is this left arm got a growth on it? I don't, I don't know. All right, moving on. Maybe, the, again, I might be missing a compatibility patch. What is this? Can I, can I come aboard? Thank you. Yeah, everyone's got the shakes on this island. They got the shakes. Can I, can I, can I not be on the ship now? Thanks. All right, moving right along. The world looks awesome. Who's this old guy? Do you want something from me? Yeah, I need to stop shivering. Uh, what have you got? Got some crazy looking armor. Stop walking away from me. Sorry. Yeah, she's all got the jitters too. No one else did. That's weird. All right, let's go up to the, uh... They may be cannibals. <laughs> Probably on the sea. Oh, my God. Uh, I'm going to hope not. But I'm hoping that they, they just got a, a really good coffee shop in this place. And, uh... Old Saltwater Tavern. Let's see what the Old Saltwater Tavern's like. Oh, they got one. Yes. All right, so give me the thing that's making everyone shivery. What do I want? Bata. What do you got? Oh, my goodness. You got all sorts of weird... Oh, Silda Brandley. Yeah, I know to stay away from that stuff. Uh, go no, nor grow wine. Interesting. Um, dried slaughterfish. Colovian cheese. You know, maybe that's how they're getting the mad cow. It's in the cheese. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna buy a bottle of this because why not? All right, offer. Thank you. Go ahead. Again. And uh, let's let's have a swig. All right, how do I? I'm going to eat some. I'm going to eat some spell materials here. So I know what they do now. Ooh. Drain my personality. All right. This is how you learn how to alchemy. Bread. Pretty plants. All right, I think I got everything. Oh, there's a brew. And see, it doesn't, until you drink them, you don't know what they do. I think that's kind of interesting. I don't know. I think this is the thing I just bought. So now I know what it does. Did it do anything to me? Positive effects, negative effects. How do I tell? I don't know. Oh, boy. All sorts of special side effects and special effects. I was trying to say at the same time. Uh, sturdy wooden door. That opens into you. That's kind of dumb. All right, that goes up. That's fine. Back outside into the jittery bunch. Ooh, you've got a shovel? He's got a shovel. Greetings. Man, they got the shakes. All right. Let's see what else we got around here. Uh, so this is like the main drag through the town. Smithy, are you open? Oh. Got a repair guy. See, he doesn't have shakes. He looks pretty... He's, yeah, he's, he's, he's off the sauce. This guy does. All right, so let's see background. Uh, let's see barter. What do you got for sale? Oh, boy, you got everything for sale. 
You got silver short sword. What do I have? What am I using? I'm using an iron dagger? Well, that's crap. Use silver claymore. Oh, my goodness. Iron spears. Do you just have another dagger? Can I search by name? Dagger. What do you got? You've got yet another iron dagger. Oh, I hate you. All right. Peril. Like me some Nord stuff. What Nord stuff do you have? Nordic Trollbone Helm. Uh, fur Helm. Gauntlets. Nordic Iron Cross. Interesting. I don't do heavy armor, though. Uh, and I already got the ring mail. Well, that's not going to help me. Consumables. You don't got none. You ain't got none. Ooh, you got some tools. Armor hammers. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Repair prongs. Is that like calipers? You can get calipers anywhere. Oh, uh, I think we're good. Okay. Console. Goodbye. Now, did you notice? He took his cloak off again. I didn't take the cloak off. He took his cloak off. I don't know how that works. Why is the why is the cloak just getting removed randomly? Doesn't really seem to have any rhyme or reason to it. It just kind of randomly takes the cloak off. I don't get how that works. But uh, oh, more athleticism. What does this guy look like? Oh boy, he's got the shakes. So if you're outside, you got the shakes. Maybe it's just really cold here, even though it looks like a tropical paradise. Maybe they all got the fever. Maybe they need some cowbell. Sometimes when you've got the fever, that's the only cure. Oh. Let's see. What is in here? Hello? Here for the tapestries. Give them to me. Yes, I've been in here before. This is, I believe this is the Temple of Kiraneth, I think. Ah, uh, it's a very nice temple. Ah. See, he likes it too. Let's see. Uh, background. Prime... Great face. Oh, so maybe this is not just Kinnereth. It's oh no, it's Kinnereth. That's Kinnereth. I see nothing but Kinnereth. Can't. I don't think you've got the nine divines in here. It's just Kinnereth. Interesting. I don't think it's like the uh, imperial cult. I think it's just Kinnereth. Just fine. Who's this guy? I don't know. All right, well, <clears throat> this looks like it's it's doing okay. Yeah, we can. I mean, the frame rates are kind of suck, but the frame rates were kind of suck. Ooh, jeez, four two. That's my only real. I like the windows. Oh wow, those are got the little imperial symbols in them. In the windows. Oh, Imperial Symbol and Kinnereth. But with the bird. Oh, that's kind of cool. I, I think there I do have a Tapestries uh, mod that improves the Tapestries. And I think when I was installing uh, Glow in the Dark, uh, Michael's uh, instructions said to use the windows to, to add the, the window glow. The, the Nord windows or something like that, I think it was called. So I think that's what's going on there. Wow, someone put their underwear out on the line right where someone's got to walk. That's not very nice. He's got the shakes, bro. Greetings. He's got the shakes. All right, everyone's got the shakes here. And I'm fighting not to wander around too much because I don't want to give anything away. Uh, I want things to still be a surprise for me when I actually do a playthrough. And yes, I will eventually do a playthrough. 
I just gotta get the mods in a row here. Um. Okay. I mean, this looks like it works. Nothing crashed. I mean, the the lights and the glow in the dark stuff work. Uh, I think pretty good. Pretty good. All right. So now, what the heck? Hold on. Are those barnacles on the side of the hull? I don't remember those being there. Jeez. It's like the ship has genital warts or something. Oh my goodness. Okay. By the power of the console command. Let's go back to Ebonheart. Pow! All right. And I'm in the ground again. Can I jump out? Can I, can I, can I, can I jump out? Can I, can I jump? Oh no, don't go swimming. Don't go swimming. Never good to go swimming. Okay, jumpy. All right, good. Well, we could also now go to Skyrim. If I got enough money. Uh, travel. Carth Waston. Ooh, just enough money. Let's go to Carth Waston. Which, oh, it's foggy. Which apparently used to be a, a bustling city in the past. And then when we get to the time of Dovahkiin, you got the shakes May too. The wind be on your back. He's got the shakes too. Oh, criminy. All right, this guy. This guy has no neck. He has no neck. You need not be afraid. Oh, I know My what it is. Anger is reserved the, you, the, the body mod that I have doesn't have an upper neck. Oh, that's what makes that happen. Zelda? Yeah. Interesting. That's crazy armor. All right. Let's, uh, see. Took the cloak off again. Bro. Put the cloak on. Just wear it. Just wear the cloak. All right. Bright, sunshiny day, so it's right in the morning. And he took the cloak off. I think it's every time he zones, he takes the cloak off. I don't know why. It makes no sense. He likes being naked. Well, it is Skyrim. Everybody walks around with their no shirt on, so. Uh, it's kind of cold for that, though. I'm going to go this way. I always go that way. I'm going to go this way. Let's see what's this way. Karth Waston. Let's see. Oh, we got names. Dragon Star. You can almost make it's written in. That's the ABC for Barbarians book. It is actually working. That's great. All right. And, yeah, is there a point for me even putting the cloak on? What is this? Hold on. What is this? A parchment. What parchment? Parchment? Tester guy, you have been given these directions and a package of documents. Do not show them to anyone. Do not attempt to read the documents in the package. The package has been sealed and your tampering will be discovered and punished. Follow these directions. I, you know, really? Not even your mission if you choose to accept it? And I guess this package will not self-destruct? Proceed down. Proceed to the town of Balmora. Report to a man named... Why that's, I already have that. Remember? Oh, crud. I read the wrong note. I'm an idiot. So directions, uh, parchment. Let's see what this one says. Travel warning. Authority of Mr. Okay, maybe this is what I picked up. Under the authority of the Ministry of Commerce of the Third Empire of Men and under the auspice, auspice of... Our blessed emperor, Uriel, patron of Cyrodiil and the lands beyond the jungle shores of Nibin, 
Don't show us, huh? Travel warning of the Western Nordic Reach has been... Con okay, so Reachman. Watch out for Reachman. Interesting. Okay, travel advisory. Uh, and now, now that I've read it, parchment, is this that package of stuff? Oh, boy. Is this the thing I wasn't supposed to read? Oopsie. Is that the package for Cla Yeah, I guess that was. Oh, I'm naughty. You have failed the main quest. All right. Let's... And there is no map for Skyrim, unfortunately. So probably just leave that on local. Okay. Let's see. What is down this way? And remember, we have a travel advisory for dangers. Never fear. I've got an iron dagger to protect myself with. I'll be fine. Who are these guys? Ooh. Now we have put that. Who were these guys? A Reachman. Reachman's got a Reachman's necklace. A wasabi root. War axe. Bear shield. Boots. Interesting. How's this guy? Oh. Barter. Ooh, magic item. Prosper's dart. That's kind of neat. Then they got the little blue glowy around them. Show that they're magic. Wow, you got a lot of stuff. Oh, you got a lot of magic stuff. Oh my goodness. All right. Background. Okay. Who did I just talk to? Who did I just force Head greet? On. So who did I just talk to then? All right. The big question is, are these guys got the shakes? Kind of. Hello there. How are you? Yeah, 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 yeah. Reachman, what do you got? Ooh, I'll take your gold. I will add it to my own. Spike worm carapace. Ember necklace. Ooh, I'll take your short bow. And your arrows. So I'm going to see how it is to shoot a bow. I don't think I've done that yet. So who was trading with me? Why are there just arrows laying on the ground here? Oh. Take that arrow. Take that arrow. Oh, got What's one more. Story? I'm the guy that's going to take your arrow. That's my story. And this plant. And maybe this one too. Why not? Couple of dead Nords. Red Guard, another Nord. Okay, that's great. That's probably a story there, but I don't want to ruin it. All right, so let's see. How does this bow work? Bow. All right. Let's see. Okay, and there goes the cloak. Oh. So I want to shoot the arrow. Ooh. Oh, just shot the bow. Does this look like first person? Ooh. That's kind of neat. And if you don't want to shoot it, you hit the button again. All right, that's kind of cool. Can I switch out for to my dagger and my bow? Awesome. Okay. I like... How many things can I carry on my back? What the heck is going on here? Oh my goodness. I like the 
Can I get a close up on this? No. The, uh, the little lamps. Little lanterns with the candle in them. That actually looks kind of cool. Wow, the water's deep here. But, uh,. So the main gist of tonight's run is just to be like, okay, this is what the new the new digs look like. These are the mods. These are their effects. They are compatible in this way. They're incompatible in that way. Can we make them more compatible without breaking anything? And that is the challenge for the next couple of weeks here. How do we make things that are kind of wonky less wonky? So I'll be looking forward to that. Um, okay, well, Skyrim's just kind of miles and miles and miles of this, and then something jumps out and kills you. So uh, speak of the devil. Um, okay, so, again, by the power of the command line, let's go look at something else here. Is that going to work? Oh, it does. It does, it does, it does, it does. It does. Oh, jeez. So much sand. These guys are... What are you guys doing? Casting spells. What are you fighting? Oh, jeez. What the heck is that? You ain't done. Why are you walking away? Kill that other triceratops looking thing. Coordinators. They're just killing stuff. Another one right next to you, bro. There you go. Smacky. All right. Y'all done? What are these things? Clan fear. And it has oh a Daedra heart. Just what I always wanted. They all have Daedra hearts? I guess they would. Oh. So not digging the sandstorm, nor is anyone else. You guys usually get Daedra running up on you in these parts. I can't see nothing. This guy's ready. Who may speak? Who may speak? Wow. Well. Looks like the sand people are ready for anything. Let's go up here. So what do we got here? Well, the ghost gate looks all right. I don't see any floaty grass, but I don't really see anything. Uh... this guy Bone mold. I don't see floaty grass the ghost gate looks okay they got the little orbity things up there that looks good statues look all right I don't know I, I can't really tell because there's weather happening but things look for the most part, okay here. Um, the ordinate ordinators have a face now, or they didn't. They just had a big gold shield going across them, and the armor looks a little more shiny in places too, which I kind of like. I don't think they originally had that. Um, all right, let's get out of here. I don't think I can see anything uh let's see if i can did i spell that right i don't think i did yeah Durr. i spell that wrong what the heck is going on here okay Doink. Right. 
right. There we go. Quebec City. Ish. Maybe. Where'd you drop me off? Okay, yeah, this looks like the next city. All right, let's see. One other thing I want to take a look at. My vagabonding here. And I think then we'll maybe call it a night because I think you get the basic gist of what we're up against here. It's mostly good. It's just in a couple of spots. It's kind of janky. I got to figure out the janky parts. Or at least so far, that's the only spots I've found to be janky. There may be more. We might discover them later. Uh, I mean, really, you're going to have to... At some point, I'm just going to have to bite the bullet and say, okay, play through time. And if we find broken stuff, we find broken stuff. And hopefully, I'll, I'll be of quick of wit and uh, be able to make a, a quip about the uh, broken stuff. But uh, I would like to reduce the broken stuff as much as I possibly could before said playthrough begins. But uh, let's face it, it's a Bethesda game. Bugs happen. All right, where in the heck is the Shield Gorath's little softball in the sky look over here somewhere do want to there's a couple of uh things that changed right at the entrance way to the the vex chamber that i thought looked kind of cool oh goodness i always get lost in this place where the heck is, is it this way yes okay it's this way uh do I want to be... I want to get there. I did add a statue mod that uh, changed the cosmetics of the statues. And uh, they look kind of cool now. She would run a little bit faster. But he's not. This is sprinting. The fastest we go... Okay, so we look up. I think that's called the, the Ministry of Truth. And look at that. You got orbiting debris. So while that meteor was, was coming to slam into the city from space, little, little bits of it broke off and probably was in its comet trail. And now Vivek not only is holding the main mass of the meteor in place, but he made the, the little bits of debris orbit around the big part. That's a nice touch. I think. So my frame rates completely collapse. Now, if we go up here. There's a couple of statues. Like this guy here. And whatever the heck these things are. Hold on a second here. A coda flower. Are they going to get mad at me for stealing the flowers? I want to get a fire petal. Oh, jeez. And then... So I guess the statues have clothes now. Kind of a nice touch. Um, but this statue in particular... They added a whole lot to it. So now the, the, the back side of the crab beetle thing has got some paint on it now take a close look at the little red ball in his uh left hand there they made they gave it a little bit of floaty they gave it a glow to it i think that's a nice touch let's take see if there's anything else the vivek temple This is an actual shrine of Vivek. Shrine to stop the moon. Say what? To stop the moon. Well, the Khajiit will not be happy. Unless they mean that. So that stopping that, I don't know. 
Let's see if there's something over here. In the name of symmetry, there is nothing here. Okay. Great. Alright. And this hallway. And they've got this very Shinto, very Japanese looking bells. And if you look close, they've got the, uh, the new trio of gods printed on it. I think that's kind of cool. So I think that's what it is. It's Vivek and Sophie Still and Al Almalexia. If I'm not mistaken. Kind of hard to see, but uh, that's as close as I can get to it. I think that's a neat touch. And you! What is this about? What is this about? Tell me about yourself. There you go. Well, all right. We've been everywhere. Oh, there's a couple of statues up there. We've been most places. Things look like they're working. For the most part. It's going to need some tweaks. It's going to need some fixes. I, I might remove some mods that maybe don't really fit the playthrough. I might add some other ones back and probably break stuff. I hope I don't. But uh, this is the new loadout. Now, so how do I work on my mod list? For one, I really don't feel comfortable taking credit for it because this is really Michael's. But I'm going to customize it a little bit. So maybe I would just list the things that I'm not using or the things I am using or the changes I make as opposed to relisting everything on my YouTube discor uh, discussion page. I don't really feel uh, you know, if I, if I copy and paste Michael's list and just make a couple of changes, I don't really necessarily feel right about that. Maybe I'll I'll write something up and point links to his site and then just mention the things I do different. Perhaps that might be a better way to go. Um, you know, citing my notes, so to speak. But uh, yeah, I will. Uh, I will definitely do that. Um, but yeah, folks. So this is this is what we're gonna do from now on uh, until we get something cobbled together that I'm comfortable enough starting a playthrough on, and uh, hopefully that'll be soon. I'm. I'm the Sunday stream where I actually play Elder Scrolls. We're on our we're on our second playthrough through through Daggerfall. I would say we're two thirds of the way through. We're kind of getting to the, like the last little bit of the end game, where we're uh, gonna start uh, going going inter interdimensional here, trying to get the Tiber uh, Tiber Septum. Um, there's still a couple of things I'd like to do. I'd like to summon a couple more Daedric Princes and do some more sinister dastardly things but uh i may figure maybe once once we're done with the playthrough and uh he, he uh causes the dragon break and whatnot then maybe we will uh well, maybe we'll start a more one playthrough and we'll see how that goes and uh we've got that much time to uh fix up this mod list so it works for what, I, what I'm looking to do. Maybe that's the best plan after all. I don't know. Let me know what you think. I mean, uh, shoot a tweet at me. Get on my Discord server. Put comments in the video down below. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think a, a good plan is. Uh, do you like the mods I'm using? Do you think this is an improvement? Do you want the old mod list back? I haven't erased it yet. Uh, let me know what you think, and, uh, as always, feedback is appreciated. But, uh, with that, I think this might be a good place to stop for the night. Um, don't forget to follow and subscribe to be notified the next time I upload and stream. You can find me at twitch.tv slash stage duty streamer i stream on sundays at 3 p.m and on thursdays at 8 p.m mountain standard time 
You can find me on Discord at Stage Duty Discussion. You can find me on YouTube at Stage Duty Vids. And lastly, you can find me on Twitter at Stage Duty Tweet for all your social media correspondence goodness. All links should be on all pages. Let me know what you think, folks. And thanks for coming along for the ride. I really do appreciate it. I will be back again on Sunday for the uh, Elder Scrolls II Daggerfall playthrough. And uh, we will be continuing our normally scheduled schedule back the way it was. And uh, I hope everyone's doing well. Stay healthy, stay safe. And we'll catch you next time. Take care.